Dad's army, the enemy within the gates. Day after day, the German Luftwaffe continues to attack our shores, and day after day, the RAF takes its heavy toll. This beautiful summer of 1940, we remember this Britain's finest hour. But let us not forget the men on the ground. Apart from the regular army, there is a British citizen army, the Home Guard. So far, they haven't been issued with tanks, but they are prepared to. Oh, but are they prepared to wait? No, Tommy Atkins. What they lack in equipment, they certainly make up with ingenuity. The British building bulldog fighting spirit. What's this? It's the latest thing in flamethrowers. In veteran many campaigns demonstrates the deadly effect of this weapon. So watch out, Adolf. We're on the home ground now, and what's more, we're preparing a warm welcome. Bottoms. I beg your pardon, Pike. Bottoms, bottoms, bottoms. Oh, the tops. What are you talking about? The uniform have arrived, sir. Where are they? Mr. Wilson's signing from now, sir. There are, 200, there are 25 pairs, but there are 17 of us. One and a half pairs each. How many caps? 16. There's one short. That will lead to trouble. A fellow with that cap could get an extra, could get an extra pair of trousers. What good would that do? As we have, as we only have five rifles, we, he could have one all the time. That would set the rifle rotor. That in turn would upset the water bottle rotor. I can't keep on alternating the rotors. No, you're taking great pains over them. It's some. It's time somebody else drew them up. Take it in turns, you mean? Good idea. Draw a rotor for it. So, why don't you let it, me take a pair of trousers down to GHQ and swap it with another cap? That's a very good idea. It's nearly 5.30. Off you go. A good idea, Pike. Where are you going? It's only 5.15. We can go too. You can go too. Thank you very much, sir. Miss King, draw the blinds on your way out, will you? Let's sort these trousers out. T T F. No, 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 good night, Miss King. Is it fair that we should choose ours before the others get a chance? It's not a question of choosing them. It's a question of making sure you've got a good fit. I suppose so. There aren't any really sizes on them. There ain't really any sizes on them. They seem to be all right. I think I've got these on back to front. Mine are the same. Yeah, oh, no fly, no fly. It's quite all right. You're not at the side, at the side. How inconvenient. Mannering here. Yes, yes. What? I see. Thank you very much indeed. Those were not intended for us. Who are you attended for? The ATS. As these, everyone. Squad, squad attention. Slope arms. One, two, three. One, two, pass. Then back. Central rank. Slope arms. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Men are ready for your inspection, sir. You missed the rank out. I'm sorry. Rear rank. Slope arms, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. A man ready for now, sir. Order arms, stand at ease. Man, stand a minute at ease. Waste of time, wasn't it? Wilson, all right. Order arms, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, one, stand at ease. We've got some good news today, men. We've had an issue of field service caps. As a command, fall out. Co- collect your caps from Lawrence Corporal Jones and gather around for a lecture. Two and full out, six and eight, seven eighths. A large, medium or small. Have a large. Hey, here you are, big head. I'm the same. Some, one small one, please. There you are. Which side do they put them on? On the right side, like that. Does it suit me? If you're retreating. You've got it back to front. Do you expect me to stick that thing on my head? You stick it where you like, Mr. Fraser. I'm just the man who gives them out. Pay attention. Gather around. Come along quickly. Now let's sum up our situation. Despite the shortages, we made ourselves a compact, f- uh, make ourselves into a compact fighting unit. We have five rifles, ten rounds of ammunition for each rifle, four water bottles, and then we got a cap each. Not to mention the equipment we've improvised for ourselves. Quite an advance on the early days, huh? Today I want to deal with enemy agents. They're being dropped all over the place. Various disguises: nuns, priests, f- peasants. Please, some of them might even be described as British Army officers. They sh- they, they'll give you stupid instructions. Now, how do you can tell? Now, how do you tell the difference? Use your head, Fraser. You can always tell a man is really British. Excuse, please. Is this HQ the first platoon B company? Home Guard? Yes, it is. What can we do for you? I am from HQ Area Command. 
I'd like to ask a few questions. Captain, certainly, Captain. Corporal, can I have a major rifle and maintenance? What do you want to know, sir? I want to know what weapons you have. Well, at the moment, just for a moment, sir. Excuse me, Captain, for one second. How do we know you're not a German spy? Of course he isn't. He's a British Army. He's in the British Army's officer at uniform. That's in the, it doesn't match the uniform. Don't let that be snobbish. Snobbish. Doesn't have to be a public schoolman to f- hold a commission. Look at his cheek. He's got a Julian scar. A pretty, a pretty rum going in Oxford in the 1920s, you know. You might be right. If you are, I'll soon put a stop to this little game. You want to know how many, what weapons we have? This is, that is right. Right, Fraser. We have to get have this. We have this for a start. Get your hands up. I beg your pardon. Get them up. Oh, but I don't. Corporal, cover this man. Be silent. Get your hands up. Now look here. What do we know? How about a staff meeting? Good idea, Corporal Jones. We don't want, want any ja and ne name. Corporal? Yes, sir. Hang on to this. If he is as much as Bats and I, let him have it right up. I'll show him how him the cold steel. It never fails. They don't like it up em. Control yourself. It's, go, it's going into action. Of all these years, we ought to have make sure he's a Nazi. We hand him over to the authorities. There's only one thing to do. We must grill him over slow fire. Now make him talk, sir. We did that in Sudan. In the Sudan, we did run that, sir. Put this together. Put yourself together. We're not savages. Everything will be done according to Jeeva Convention. What does it say here? Here we go. Our interrogation of enemy suspects. Ah, pronunciation test. Say after me a few a few simple English words. A few simple English words. Haven't started yet. Say now say smooth, smooth, wrong, wrong, wretch, wretch, rats, reached. No rats, I said reached. Those, those. What would you do if Miss what would What do you do if Miss what do you do if Miss, what do you, would Miss Mott say to you? She would say, can I do you now, sir? There's a good one, that's a good one, sir. Who won the boat race in 1935, Cambridge? He's right. It's raining at, it was raining at the time, was it? Look here. Who the hell are you? I'm Captain Werner Dorich of the, for the Polish Free Forces attached to GHQ. Wouldn't you say so in the first place? We're sorry. It's an understandable mistake. I could, I could call it a stupid mistake. Now, as you know, many German airmen have crashed airplanes of, of landing, landing everywhere. However, the air command is letting anxious in case any British pilots are shot by, by mistake. It's not happened so far, but it's, sti- it's a stretch in time s- saves something. Nine. Nine? A stretch in time saves... Oh, never mind. So he's issued an order a lone paradises should not be shut down before they have a chance to disclose themselves. They're everywhere. For the whole bounty of ten pounds were paid to every for every Nazi airman captured alive and in good condition, that's all. Good day to you, Captain. Do you hear that? Ten quid for every now Nazi airman caught in good nick. Josie, come here. We're on patrol tonight. That's right. You want to keep your eyes open. Bring your reading glasses. Here, watch, hang on a tick. My feet are killing me. Put that light out. What's the matter with you? Sniper might see it. What are you talking about? There's no snipers around here. They're not in flipping Sudan. Good job, too. Oh, you'll last five minutes. I'll shoot fuzzy wuzzies just the same as you. The plob is only head spears. Oh, it wasn't just a fuzzy wuzzy. It was flies and dysentery and malaria and gippy tummy. Shouldn't you have packed him up then? Shouldn't you have packed it up then? We didn't. We were soldiers. There was a field marshal baton in every knapsack. Sounds like you've been been better off with a pen pan. Ah, Tom, don't do that. You would frighten the life out of him on this t- at his time of life. It wasn't me, it was you. You nearly j- jumped out of your trousers. I could have shot you. You're supposed to keep a lookout. Like soldiers, not talk like old women. You were reported for slacking. Names? Jones, sir. Pike, sir. Smith. Walker. Thanks very much. It's no use to you try and give me forces. I remember you all. You are the baby. You are the old grandpa. And you are the one that jumped out of his trousers. Wake up with your ideas. We're not supposed to talk about to an NCO like that in front of his men. It's against Queen's Eight Regs. That's it, that is. 
King's Regs, you silly old muffin. I heard about time. What time do you make it? Half past one. Another half an hour, hour and a half to go. Let's go. There won't be any German planes tonight. Wait. Why do you have to open your big mouth? Mr. Jones, can you hear a plane coming? Yes. If it comes any lower, I'll give him one right in the seat of his hen- henkel. Oh, I will. Watch out. He's coming this way. Your cabby boss has shot. Sounds like one of ours. Bravo, lads. Well done. That wasn't one of ours. I think they dropped over the corpse wood and hit searchlights or after, searchlights were after him. They were a bit late, mate. They're machine gunning us. Machine gunning an innocent woman and children? They don't care, you know. If one of the half is machine gunning him. Well done, lad. Get a move on. You'll soon be off home now. You can just smell... Get a smell when you are on fighters and you're off home, you cowardly bush bush. Mr. Jones, what? What's that white thing floating down? Oh, God, it's a parachute. Shall I fire us? Now remember what the captain said. We've got to wait to see if he exposes himself first. It might be one of ours. See, you land in water. Halt, surrender, or we fire. Say if you're a German spy, say if you're British. Do you say so? Or can you see anything? No, it's too dark. Can you see, lads? That, yeah, I can. It's coming towards us. I think I ought to fire, Mr. Jones. Wait, I'll give you one more chance. Squeeze, surrender or fire. Go on then, squeeze. Blimey, it's off again. Take it off again. Must be a secret weapon. No, it's a spirit rising up again. No, it's a spirit rising up again. No, it's something white floating in the water. I think I killed him, Mr. Jones. Oh, come cool, blimey, there goes our ten quid. Go and fetch him. Go and fetch him, pirate. Go on. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Go on. Oh, blimey, what's up? You shot a bleeding swan. King swans is against the law, isn't it? Yes, it's serious, that is. All swans belong to the king. What are you going to do with him? Take him home. I'm going to pluck it, dress it, and have him for some roast potatoes and brussels. Well, the king, he's always eating it. We ought to report it. Do you want to? Your share or not? Of course I do. Shut up, then. We'll pick it up later. All right. I shall think you ought to report. I still think you ought to report it, Joe. I still think you ought to report it, report it Joe. You miserable goat. Who are you? Luffruff. Luffruffer? Luffruffy? You're all Nazis, aren't you? Get back. I've got a couple of Germans here. A double Jerry. Blimey. Twenty quids of what? Worth. What do you mean, ten quid for each German good nick? How are we going to get along? Then get them along. Cut their trousers buttons off. Hang on to this. Wait a minute. Careful. I'm not sure how far you're going. That's because I haven't made my mind up yet. I'll stick them up. Over your head, hands up, march. Come on, keep him covered. Spuggy, why is it always me? Go on, you go next. Why? I feel safer. Are you there, Wilson? I'm coming in. Good. Always glad to see you, sir. Put the light out. I'm so sorry. Just a minute. Hang on. There we are, sir. You can come in now. The damn door's locked. I have locked it for you, sir. Blast. What's the matter? Can't find the key. Put the light on. Find the key. Put the light off. Turn that, put that light off. Open the door. I can't find the light. This is ludicrous. It's by the radio wireless. Got it. Clever me. I see the key quite clearly, sir. Hang on. I'll be there in a minute. You can come in. Are you there, sir? No, I'm here. I'll come round the other way. Put the light off. It's a shut. Yes. Must get some night traps, blankets or something. Anything? Is anything happening out here, sir? A combining come in the sky for searchlights. Sir, permission to speak. So we catch a couple of jury parachutes. Parachuters. What? Show them the cold steel. They came quite as bounces. They didn't make it up them, you know, sir. Herr Hitler. Not know that. Pike. Jeffrey. I don't know what you're saying, but you're, but you're my prisoners. Behave yourself. Everything will be all right. Any Nazi tricks? I won't answer all for consequences. You must ring the headquarters. God, then well, Pike. Jeffrey. Goffrey. Walker. Jones. Make a revolt. Bernard Evans. Marvellous. Well done, Jones and Walker. Just wait till the GHQ hears about this. Don't forget about 20 quid. Hello? The thing's dead, I know. They cut it off. Cut it off? Very good, sir. I explained it to him, sir. Bill wasn't paid, so they cut it off. Don't they know there's a war room? We're a military unit. The vicar can't afford to pay it. Why? Because of the evasion scare. He had to put a stop to his chemology. He can't, he can't ring these bells, sir. So? The vicar had to ring a bell by the monopoly. If I had a publication, so the income start, dropped. I have two valuable prisoners, and my communications have been severed. severed. Permission to speak, sir. I can tell them, them 
up from my shop, sir. Good man, Jones. Off you go. One light's too late now. We'll go put it out again. The lights. Mrs. Sweet, of course, blast you. There's no need to talk about him like, like that. It's all right. Could have meant, meant no offence. What's the matter? I don't know. THQ telephone number. No, why don't you? Why don't? No, of course you don't. Sorry, Jones. You've done very well tonight. I'm proud of you. The men like you about Britons and no need of fear. Thank you. I'll bring you a half a pound of liver later on. Don't waste any more time. Lights, lights. Who's in charge here? Captain Manry here. Oh, it's you. Look here. You have any more trouble with this place? I shall move your bulb, you understood? You don't have the authority to lay one finger on it. Of it, on it. Any aircraft had was circling overhead. They fired several. They fired several haystacks. I don't know otherwise. I say you are signalling the enemy. I know what your job. You have a job to do. You're not going. You're not eight going a little. Aren't you going a little too far? Telling the airmen out there in the hall. I don't care if they're not going or Google's out there. Put this light out, or I shall extinguish it myself. Get off my premises. I'm not going. I warned you. And you. Why the light? Has anyone interrogated those two in case there are more of them? any more of them? Not as far as I know. Well, there are they. Where are they? They went outside for Mr. Godfrey, sir. Went outside? What on earth for? They went to Tinkle, sir. That's what he, my mum calls it. When she says Tinkle, she means I know what she means. He took his rifle. They haven't. They shouldn't be long. Mind you, they've been quite gone quite a while. I say, have you, they come back? No, Mr. Godfrey. Oh, the rutters. Godfrey, come here. Get after them. Take whatever's, whoever's on guard of you. Come here, Godfrey. Godf- 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 what happened? The foreign gentlemen wanted to wash their hands. Well, you tell them they couldn't. We got no be- We're not beasts, are we, sir? Go on. I took them to the outside of convenience. I shoved the one down the spout. One well, of the Germans? No, sir. A bullet, sir. Very dark at the time, but I kept a close look at them. As they went down, I could in circumstances. Went in with them? No, they locked the door. Don't you think that was suspicious? No, I usually locked the door myself. Go on, they seem to be taking a long time, so I coughed. You gave them a kind of hint. Coughed, you should have gone, done a goddamn sight. More than just, more than cough. I called to them. They didn't answer. I went to the window at the back. Was it open? No, it's closed and barred. How did they get out? Why was in the little? Why was that the little window at the back? They suddenly slipped out the little door in the front. Holy suffering cats! Any sign of them? I didn't, hadn't really looked. I forgot my rifle. It's awfully stupid of me. Get them after them. Uh, and you, Pike, the MP, be here any minute to collect them. I'll, I'll, t- I'll take a look too. Bring them and say it's it's all a practical joke. We're the practical joke walker. Left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, halt, halt, and back. Just recaptured these men that you say they escaped from custody. Is that correct? Yes, I'm afraid it is. I don't know what sort of army you are in, Captain. I don't think it's the same as mine. I know definitely surprising on patrols. There are no guard outside your home quarters. The APR complains that you are signaling to the armed enemy. Now you allow prisoners to escape. All these efficiencies were reported. Furthermore, I shall claim the bounty of these men myself, I see. I think that is a little high-handed, to say the least. If you have any further comments, I'll be on my, in my room. Good. Now, you shall leave me free to interrogate these men. See, that they're well covered, Walker. Huh? Get some jail prisoners here, Brister. That's right, there they are. Blimey, three of them? I thought he said two. Must have had a bad time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Must have been. All right, you lot, outside the van, outside, oh wait, outside the van, oh, uh, Bob, this one dressed as a British officer. I am the British officer, you fool. You sound like, don't sound like one, does he, Bob? Did he come with the others? Ew, yeah, as a matter of fact, he did. Listen, I'm the British officer attached to HQ Eric Command. He's got to go and get it off of him. What are you doing? You shouldn't have, have kept, shouldn't have let him keep it. Sorry? I'm going to the, I'm new to this game. Look, I am a British officer. Here are my papers. There is an identity card, my railway warrant to London. I leave tomorrow. And this is there is a letter from the lady I'm going to see in Golden's Green. Well, what do you think? You've got to hand it to those people. They're very far. Yeah. Yeah, that's damn right. You're damn right. Outside the van with him. I protest, you're making a mistake. Can you can I can I go can 
Can I do you now, sir? Cambridge won the day at both feasts in 1935. They didn't know, they didn't know when, they, when they were beaten. Just put it off the jerry in the van. There's your seat. Take that to your brigade HQ and you'll get 30 quid bounty. 30 pounds, that's right. Three prisoners, 30 pounds. Good night, sir. Three prisoners. Oh, well, we had a stroke of luck, sir. Anyone, among, anyone another one turned up? How did I persuade the captain to give his chair up? You saved himself, sir. There's, a, there's your liver, sir. There's a couple of kidneys to make up for the weight, sir. I'll get you some chops for a nice, grill, nice mixed grill. It disappeared into thin air. You're too late. I dealt with all that. They're on their way to headquarters, plus another one. A walker ran it up. Don't tell me you're getting them. On the black market and all. There they go. Well, quite an eventful evening. Yeah, very yes. Very good, yes. I say, we've got an extra ten. ten. Why don't we spend fifteen of it celebration platoon dinner? Good idea, sir.